Hey everyone, welcome to the episode of That's All Funny. Uh, episode number 655, we're doing it, we're, we're, no, we're here, chilling. Uh, I know I had some issues, yes, well, had a couple interviews, they're great. No, uh, uh, everything's great, they're great. No, I had a couple interviews, I had issues with my mom being here yesterday. Uh, she was like around, being evil, showing her presence and, you know, killing <clears throat> all living creatures that were near nah so you know i had to deal with that but whatever i'm on a piece of shit that's just life right everyone knows mom are just moms are just women <laughs> you know but uh yeah i don't know whatever that's life i i deal with it i tolerate it you know for the sake of my family or at least you know for my sister but whatever uh otherwise it's been chilling got a job interview friday so that's cool got a couple more interviews lined up for the week so uh look forward to that and i don't know otherwise we're just chill another day let's check out the news a little bit of news here nathan's famous hot dog eating contest goes on without its star eater uh i like this photo here <laughs> Uh, so the annual Nathan's Famous Fourth of July hot dog eating contest has a bunch of competitors, but will not have, I guess, Joey Chestnut. Um, Joey Jaws Chestnut, who won 16 out of the previous 17 contests, isn't attending the competition over a sponsorship tiff. Instead, he'll compete against soldiers at a U.S. Army base in El Paso later in that day. Uh, so yeah, I think he took a. Uh, what is it? A fucking sponsorship deal for like impossible meat hot dogs, I think. One of those hot dogs that uh is like not really meat but meat substitute. And Nathan's famous did not like that, and so they like barred him from uh, you know, yeah, he's doing impossible foods, the vegan products. He was promoting them, so they were like, nah, fuck you. You don't we don't want you in our contest anymore. And that sucks, but that's what happens, you know. Uh Nathan's hot dogs are fucking good, if I remember correctly. The other day, um, I don't know if we're gonna eat hot dogs today, maybe sausages, but the other day my sister had bought like big ass hot dogs from Sam's Club, like weenies that were like movie theater sized weenies, you know, the kind that they used to serve like in gas stations and Movie theaters, real thick, fucking, uh, girthy ones, <laughs> and, and those shits were fucking good, dude. I love a good hot dog, and uh, yeah, their strategies here are pretty sickening, where they like soak them in water and eat them. But you know, it's a contest; everything goes. I think I got a promo on a parlay for it, and I think I won like five bucks with that. So with that five bucks, I'll try to bet on something else like a wnba game or something let's see if i could turn that five into um a hundred bucks or something but i doubt it <laughs> so you're gonna eat in hot dogs uh sean diddy combs hit with fresh lawsuit alleging sexual assault sex trafficking uh yeah he just keeps getting hit uh the the complaint marks the ninth sexual assault lawsuit filed against the rapper since last november um so yeah he just keeps uh a draw adria english and english uh adria english an adult film actor who says she worked with combs accuses the rapper of conducting and participating in rico enterprise sexual assault sexual harassment and sex trafficking according to legal documents blah blah, blah. so um they just keep bringing the lawsuits man um and I don't know. I don't think it's ever going to end. <laughs> he he did something wrong to piss off the uh, uh, Illuminati, and they are just going to keep uh, pegging him with these lawsuits uh, until he, uh, you know, Epstein's himself or something. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what uh, he plans to do with all this. I mean, he's got money to fight it, you know. Uh, he's probably just going to do a, a fucking... Uh, Kevin Spacey and just go into hiding for a while. I think that's all he can really do, but we'll see. I don't think anyone's going to miss, miss be missing him 
every chance you take, every breath you make. There's a matter day I'll be watching, missing you. Something like that. Yeah, right? Right? I'm asking my producer. And nah, I don't have any producers. Something like that, I think. Next year on the docket, uh, Biden tells governors he got a medical checkup. So, oh boy. I don't know if you watched the debate. I don't remember. If, yeah, I did talk about the debate a little bit. But ever since then, Biden's been having to like prove that he is um, coherent, that he is, you know, somewhat there. And there's talks about him like not being the Democratic nominee or stepping down just because of how much he fucked that debate up. Like, dude, like debates actually matter so much. And I don't know why he would agree to it if he knew he was going to get fucked up. Like somebody, like, like, they a, a committee of people told him, "No, nah, you'll be fine. You could do that. You can make a debate. You're gonna be good." And he fucked it up royally, and now he's like eating shit from it. You know, like uh, people think medically he's not fit to uh, not only run again for office, but even be in office right now. And I mean, I agree with it. Don't get me wrong. He's an old ass man. I don't know why he is, but that just like uh, exaggerates the fact that he's just a puppet and everyone's using him to do shit. You know, he's not even really being the president. Everyone else is doing everything else, everything for him, you know, like an old man, you know, but uh, I I don't know what they're going to do. I don't think he's going to step down. Uh, I wouldn't know who's even going to run. Uh, as the Democratic nominee, whether it's going to be, uh, some people are suggesting like Michelle Obama, whether uh, he's going to step down and uh, what's her name is going to take his place. Um, oh my God, that the the vice president, whatever her name is, Kamala Harris, which I I uh, I doubt it. I mean, I don't know. I hope not. It might happen, but who cares? All I know is Trump like really fucking beat beat him with that debate and there's supposed to be another debate and we'll see how that goes but all signs are pointing to uh that debate really fucked him over so bad that even his own uh party doesn't believe that he is uh fit for not only re-election but running the office right now that as the way it is but um, continuing on that, you know, uh, topic here, uh, Zelensky challenges Trump to release plan to end Ukraine war with Russia. So now Zelensky is trying to challenge Trump on ending the war. So like even Zelensky, uh, well, because, you know, Trump was talking so much shit about how much money we're giving to Ukraine. So now Zelensky is like, well, how are you going to end the war? And it's like, Okay, so you're kind of conceding to defeat too, because basically you're saying, well, how do you plan to end this war without money when Trump's not even, uh, people are saying Trump can't win. People are saying, well, he's not going to win. But now it's kind of like pointing to the option of, okay, they they know he's going to win. So um, how is he going to end the war? What is he going to do? What are you going to do, Trump, to end the war? And um, I think their only option, well, I'm not saying in the ending the war, I mean, the only option against Trump is to make him more of a convicted felon or make him more <laughs> of a where he's stuck in these uh, where they like lawsuits and uh, court dates and stuff to where he can't run for office. So they're really going this different route of trying to keep him out of there and that's why I just say, dude, just just let RFK fucking debate. Just have RFK there or have the Democratic Party <clears throat> choose RFK instead. I think uh, they'd have a better chance with him. At least they would keep in they would stay in power, you know, but that I, I really think after that debate, uh, how he screwed it up 
they are really going to lose this race just because of that debate. Like, and not not that they were ahead anyways, or, or everything was like 51, 50 or whatever, right? Just right in the middle. It's always like almost like this fixed percentage, uh, like a fucking episode of MasterChef where it's down to the very last dish. It's like a reality show. But that debate <laughs> is like Diddy with the sexual assault. <clears throat> it fucked him over so bad. It okay. fucked him over so bad. And I don't know. It's it, it was really just like a car crash to watch if you did watch the debate. And apparently, again, apparently there's supposed to be another debate. Mm. Am I getting skinny? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. With the other debate going on, I don't know how they're going to uh, redeem themselves. I really don't. All I know is we'll be covering it here, and uh, that'll be all funny. That's all funny, guys. Well, thank you for seeing the podcast. That's all funny. It's for the one where podcast available. Just search That's All Funny. I have a podcast with my buddy Gabe called That's All Kayfabe. Okay, We're talking about wrestling and other stuff. Check that out. That's All Kayfabe okay, anywhere podcasts are available. Um... I do uh, a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. We have video versions of this podcast, that podcast, and a live show I do with the wonderful Men Salad called Tits and Ariolas, where we talk about a movie we watch, play a little game. She's hot. I'm a piece of shit. It works out. So check that out live on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. That has its own podcast. If you want to check it out, just search for Tits and Ariolas with Men Salad. Uh, anywhere podcasts are available on your favorite podcast player. Um, Check me out on my socials. I'm at Lorenzo Ariola on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to hit me up for merch, I got t-shirts, prints, stickers, a one-of-a-kind stuff. If you want to uh, purchase anything, help support the podcast. Uh, also, if you want to, to grab some art, uh, check out the artist who does all the art for the show. At Retro Horror Inc. on Twitter and Instagram. At Retro Horror Inc. He does all the art. The Bret Hart graphic art he can't be beat. I want to thank my Patreon members for subscribing. I want to thank everyone for liking, watching. Uh, check out the podcast. You the YouTube channel. Take care. Bye.